Helioverse strikes again, as we're faced with yet another S rank physical DPS coming right after an SP physical DPS. But before you skip Valkyrie Quicksand, here's some things to consider. Valkyrie Quicksand may well be the introduction to a new type of physical DPS. She doesn't crit, and all her damage counts as bleed damage. This means her damage is most consistent over all physical DPSs, and her damage multipliers work differently as well. We're gonna be running damage tests on the screen, and it'll be a triple S quicksand versus an S0 Dream Weaver, Mistelin Shariak's S rank physical DPS coming up in the next version. As there's a new meta pulling for an extra Aladdin set to further boost the team's bleed damage, I'll do the first quicksand run with Shattered Sword, and the next with Aladdin on Sentience. And why triple S versus S0 you ask? Because SP fragments are farmable and S ranks are not. Well, most of them aren't. I mean heck, we don't even have to pull for Valkyrie Quicksand to obtain the battle suit. Cost aside, there is also the quantum type advantage on Quicksand, meaning she can inflict quantum implosion, giving her an edge in not only physical and bleed weather, but quantum as well. And I know, some people might assume that Prometheus is going to be the Eden to Hare's Aponia, but not really. Well, Prometheus is pretty much here to run her own brand of anti-shield justice. I'm not going to delve too far into the version 6.6 .6 battle suits, however, and yes, we are running the damage test in beta version 3, which is the closest to release, but we're still going to wait for version 6.6 .6 to officially release before talking about Prometheus and hair in detail. All in all, cost-wise, Quicksand really does give you the bang for your buck, which is kind of surprising given the last time we had an s rank physical come out right after an SP one. And in case you're like, hey, what if I triple S Dreamweaver? Gotcha covered. Went ahead to get Dreamweaver to triple S in the beta, and honestly, the numbers actually surprised me. Very much. I don't really know what this means for the character, because given how unique Volker Quicksand is, I was assuming a new type of trauma-based support might be released to kind of complete the team that introduces the new meta, but after looking at the triple S numbers for Dreamweaver, I'm thinking she might need a new support that buffs the team off of summon entities or something. So anyway, some things to consider is that damage numbers aren't always the only thing that determines how good a DPS is. In Honkai, many circumstances can come together to favor a battle suit over another. And I know I said we'll leave going into detail about Dreamweaver for when we get to version 6.6, .6, but one piece of information I'm going to leave you guys with is that Dreamweaver at S0 actually does slightly more damage than a triple S Bright Knight Excelsis with the Abyss Flower. Not to mention her SP cost is much lower, making her ulti much more accessible for re-rotation or for the Memorial Arena. Despite all that though, if you're pulling for waifu over meta, then I'll say, Dreamweaver all the way. But seriously, I do hope the information here is going to be helpful for people who are trying to get objectively stronger in the game. Thank you guys so much for watching, this has been MG, and I'll see you guys next time. Buh bye bye